I've just come back from a trip and experience that's completely changed my life forever. One month self-sufficient living off the land out of an ocean kayak with the ambition of getting to the northernmost tip of the Australian continent. My best mate Strick was already up in Cape York with his partner Fran and it looked like they were just having the best time. So when work and family commitments freed up, I couldn't resist the opportunity to join in on the expedition with four other adventurous souls who you'll meet throughout this series into the most remote, wild, beautiful and some of the most unforgiving wilderness areas in the entire world. And to do it from a kayak, which as a complete novice and no training, was well outside my comfort zone. A true challenge and a hell of a lot of fun. When given the opportunity, it was one that I knew wouldn't come around another time in my life. So I couldn't say no, and I'm glad I didn't. It was so much more than just a kayaking trip though. It was a trip of mateship, of exploration, of recharging and resetting, of survival, and learning firsthand about the bigger issues that our environment faces. Not to mention it was bloody hard work. I wanted something that was going to be a physical, an emotional, and a mental challenge. And far out, I got every bit of that. But for now, I really hope you enjoy this series. I put my heart and soul into it. It was a really tough one to film and capture. But I'm going to take you back to basics, back to day one, and back to where it all began, kayaking the wild. Ava, what do we got here, love? A little whale shark, just for us. The baby's sending it off in style. Ava, thank you so much. This is extraordinary. All right, g'day legends, as here from Back to Basics. And I'm about to do exactly that, getting proper Back to Basics. And this is the start of a series of episodes. I am joining up with an expedition that has left from Cooktown to the tip over a series of two and a half months, about nine weeks. I'm joining up with them today. Dan Gunsberg, Brian Ross, Rossi. And we're joining Shane Danger, Ross and Albert the Jedi Master. Uh, the yaks are down the beach, it's eight o'clock in the morning, the sun's risen and the wind is howling. Anywhere between 25 and 30 knots, swells will be pretty solid and I've kayaked about five times, ever. We 
We've got 17 foot ocean kayaks. We're all rigged and ready to go. Everything to be self-sufficient uh, for the next month heading to the tip of Australia. Today though is very much getting thrown in the deep end uh, for six and a half, seven hours. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer than that. I don't know much more of what I can say to you, but it's and we're a long way away from, from any help. We got we got a very experienced crew. I'm glad I'm joining on with, with Danger and Albert. Vibes are high. Um, it's the right amount of excitement and nervousness. I haven't I haven't had for quite a while going into an adventure where there's a fair bit of uncertainty. You're a, you're a long way from home, you're a long way from help. And it's one of the most remote places in the world. Excited's an understatement, there's really no words for it. I'm fortunate enough for my parents, Rob and Trace, have come up to uh, see us off and supply a few morale boosters. Mum, morning, how you feeling? Hello, excited for you. Thank you. Rob Dog. Enjoy the journey, mate. Appreciate it, Dad. Here. Thank you. See all you boys take off. Cheers the to the watermelon. Team. The dream yeah. team, mate, it is the dream team. Oh wow, I'm gonna miss fresh fruit, that's for sure, but surely there'll be no shortage of fresh seafood as we make it. <laughs> wow, You're beautiful. look at that. What a send off. The hibiscus send off. <laughs> oh, stunner. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> it really brings out the blue nose. <laughs> it's go time. Go time. It's go time. Said the goodbyes, got the photos. Hugs and bum taps and high fives. And we're out of here. I've got Buddha with me. Keep him safe. Yeah, I'd never done this before. You can't make excuses in life, mate, just yes. <sighs> We're on. Yeah, guns up. K's in just under three hours. I'm going over some incredible bombies. I wish I could just sort of duck out and have a spear. You got the spear gun strapped to the front. Grab a, grab a couple of trout or a couple of crays. But there'd be no chance I'd be finding my way back into this kayak. I'm unsteady enough as it is. There was two times I almost came head over kayak, makes you so nervous because I've never practiced trying to roll one of these things back over and correcting itself. Oh, so I've learned this technique where it's called, um, this bloody, you're just bracing yourself, bracing yourself each side, so I'm doing that as much as possible, but it still is really nerve-wracking. I'm really doing my best not to, to flip this thing. She's blowing a solid 25 knots. So we've got another 20 k's to go. Ah, so far so good. So far so good. The body's hanging in there. The legs need a bloody good stretch. However, morale is high. About a sip of water. I bailed this thing out once. I had about 15 liters around me. I need to sort this out proper. The rudder I've got on the back is not turning me upwards into the wind. I'm finding it pretty hard to keep up with the boys. Uh, everyone's pretty spread out. You're losing, you're losing the other kayaks and sails in between the swells. We get a load of this. The last channel crossing almost flipped a couple of more times as my body is starting to get weaker. My core and my my legs, my ass, far out. They're just not used to sitting for so long. This rudder's playing up on me like a second-hand lawnmower. I'll tell you what, it's like I don't even have a rudder. I'm just trying to take long, deep breaths. Stretch the legs out if I can. Move the butt cheeks around and stay calm. Got about an hour and a half left, four and a half hours in. Going over a couple of beautiful reefs. Strangely enough, leading the pack now because I'm that bloody keen to get to this island. Bottom half of it's cramping up and the back half of the boat is pretty much submerged. I can hear a lot of water swooshing around in the back hatch, which isn't good, carrying a lot of weight. Uh, they've come through where the, the rudder holes 
Ah, uh, I don't have that completely sealed. Which is a bit of a bugger. Well, shit, more of a bit of a bugger. So I'm sitting real low at the back. Can barely see my rudder out of the water. But at the same time, good vibrations. Pussy! Oh. Ooh. Almost there, another 10 Ks. We just come around the back. I had to put the rudder up because the, the stern here, the back, is just sitting so low. The rudder's scraping the reef. We come around the corner, we see a boat anchored up. We get closer, a few hundred meters off. None other than the salty dingo itself. I can see a couple of figures on the beach. I'm putting my money on that it's Fran and Strick. Cheers, I'm that excited. Slash happy to be here. Slash happy to just not be out. <sighs> the thick of that ocean. Oh, that was tough. Oh man. Oh, I can see Strick cutting up a coconut. Thanks, Buddha. Thank all the gods. <sighs> oh, yeah! I love my life! Oh, sin. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oi, you made it. Oh. 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 It's like a, a one ton buffalo. Yeah, first <laughs> oh, well done, bro. Well done. Oh. Oh. Well done. That was tough last couple <laughs> hours, man. Yeah. Serious tough, eh? Yeah. God, it was heavy, man. You've done so well. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well done. How was it? <laughs> Hard? Full oh, on, man. I'm so glad to be here, eh? I thought <laughs> I was going over so many times. Well done, bro. Good job. Oh, thanks, mate. I'm well. proud of you. Yeah, mate. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well done, buddy. Well yeah. done. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, hey. man. It's from your mum. Do I still have mine? Guys, oh, but we got one. Oh, we got one flare in the hair. Oh man, we were sitting there. Fran's like, "What time should we send out like a search party?" I'm like, "Fran, fuck, we are the party." Yeah, like, oh, you oh, are the search shit. party. No one else. When I saw that boat, I thought, "There's no, no weekenders up here." No. no, we haven't seen another person here for a couple of days, though. Yeah, right. How long have you been here for? Oh, well, we just got in yesterday. Um, to meet up with you blokes. Yeah. Yeah, right. We're not sure where we were going to find you. Oh. Let's see how much water's in the back of this. The back of this yak. Oh, it's well soupy. Yeah. <laughs> She's pretty full. Yeah, that'll do it, eh? That'll do it. <laughs> Mate, you were so low in that too. The water it was up, up here. Yeah. It was up there. Hopefully this is dry because all my only clothes are in there. It'd be fine. <laughs> It'd be good. I'm so happy to be on dry land. How'd you fare? Nah, good. Pretty yeah, good? Yeah, Solid? Good. After that first scan the first couple of days, yeah. I, I think I went out and played a couple of days and just got used to the rolling and everything. Yeah. And um, not as nervous now and today just sore legs, but you yeah. know. Took my first kayak week. Had my brother hold the thing and I was there. Did you go out? No. Or just in? No, I did it in. Did it into the baler. Did ya? Yeah, I needed him to brace me. And oh, have yeah. a go at this. We've got the fire going. And Fran has just pulled this up the beach. Coral trout, crayfish, beautiful sized tusky, and a mangrove jack. That strict. And Fran speared out front reef. I knew there was going to be a couple of hungry men coming in, eh? So, <laughs> like, Fran, man the spears. Let's go shoot some fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
she man, she got that cray and yesterday she got a really big trout like yeah. a stonk ray. So we've pulled up within the last hour, setting up a bit of a camp. And Gunsy's just jumped straight out front reef here. What do we got, mate? Something, Mr. Tucker. Oh, wow. Coral trout, mangrove jack. Yeah. What are they doing? Just hanging out, mate, waiting for tea. So this is the campsite here. We got the yaks. Salty dingo anchored out the front. Tent sprawled out around the beach. Seafood grill, thank you very much. Fire, relaxation station, coconut station. A few vibes out the back. Couple of vibes, mate. <laughs> Cooking on the hot cooker. <laughs> well, speaking of vibes. Yep, rice is just about done, look at that. Got a fair bit of gear sprawled out. I've got a little tent here. How's the view though? Oh, unreal. This is going to be an incredible couple of days.